Let's check in with Sean Quinn for our full forecast. Sean. All right, let's go ahead and look at temperatures today across the board. 60s for the most part. We got a little bit cooler than what we saw on Saturday, and that's because we had a little extra moisture at the lower and mid levels as uh, those cloud, the cloud cover is starting to thicken up um, ahead of some very weak storm systems that are approaching the region. So currently 50s really a uniform atmosphere whenever you don't have these big swings in temperatures you know that uh, we're seeing pretty much the same thing from north to south and all uh, from the beaches to the inland areas winds are fairly light wouldn't be surprised though later in the next few days we start to see that wind map getting a little busy and a lot of atmospheric moisture there could see some light fog developing in certain areas and of course when it does at this time of year it can settle very close to the ground and of course prohibit your visibility for driving and that's not a good thing so be careful out there the ridge continues to hold over much of Southern and Central California and another storm system yet again is slamming into the Pacific Northwest and as it does, it brings in much more needed rainfall. Of course, Northern California under extreme drought conditions, uh, we're getting there. Now, luckily last week we did some damage with that really nice storm that ran through and made it into Southern California. Um, for this system and one behind it, maybe even another one, it will stay to our north, more Northwest and North wind is expected behind it, uh, which has also been sort of our weather story this year as the systems scoot over the top of us. We get the tail end, maybe a spritz or a shower or two, and then it blows right out. And of course, the wind comes in behind it. And there it is right there. This is rapidly falling apart as it moves farther south. So as it approaches uh, Morro Bay, watch it literally just kind of disappear. And so could we see a sprinkle or two behind that? Maybe another one shows up by Wednesday, Thursday, but it looks like that one stays well out of the area as well. So we'll go ahead and look at the future rainfall totals and the computer yesterday was spitting out numbers like 0 0.02. Today, look at this, it really dropping off. Now this could change again. Hopefully we will get something, anything is good. So we'll keep that map going. Now wind, watch it pick up a little bit on Monday toward the evening hours. And that is because of that flow behind that system. Uh, they're dry fronts, basically uh, differences between air pressures will still be there even though we don't get the rain and that means that flush comes in behind it. So uh, also temperatures will not be overly warm, although the south coast might do a little better because the wind will go over the mountains and you'll get a little bit of compressional heating, that little offshore effect, but everybody else will probably be a degree or two below where you should be for this time of year. And then it looks like we kind of recover on Tuesday as we start to get a little bit more stability in the atmosphere, but uh, more systems are out there. So we're gonna continue to see this little dance of uh, systems running to the north and a little bit of wind behind them and some cool to sometimes chilly temperatures. Tomorrow looks like a nice day across the board. Of course, slight chance for sprinkles north of Point Conception. Uh, the computer likes to put it on there, but of course, finding rain totals, as you saw just a minute ago, was a little sparse. So all areas south of, say, northwestern Santa Barbara County expected to be dry. Now comes the fun part. Boy, waves. We are going to be looking at some surf the next couple of days. Your water is on the chilly side. High tide, luckily, is not too strong. High surf advisory for all of the central coast down through, I should say, south coast down through Ventura County. And then here is a map that I have not used in quite a while. Watch this. We'll see if we can get this one to kick in. Uh, right there. I don't remember the last time we had a high surf warning, and this means waves could go up above 20 feet plus on some of the most exposed beaches. And this would be from about Tuesday through uh, about mid, maybe late Wednesday. We're looking at this little period where the waves could really be dramatic in that part of the world. Of course, be careful if you're going to go watch. Stay way up off the beach as it could be a little bit dicey as you get closer to the, uh, the water's edge. And there's your Santa Barbara forecast. Again, keeping it dry right through the period. Temperature is not wavering much in any direction. A little cool in the morning, afternoon mild. Uh, one more time, keeping it dry though, unfortunately. Well, I was hoping we'd see maybe a break uh, and get a little bit more of that action. About a week ago, we were really excited that we thought this would be a busy week for rain. And then rapidly over the last few days, it slowly has evaporated across the board. Santa Maria, there it is, cloudy and cool, slight chance for rain both Monday going into very early Tuesday. Uh, that's those areas to the north of Point Conception. We say that quite a bit because there's usually a pretty dramatic shift in the weather. We'll stop on five cities right there and then you can see a little chance for rain over the next couple of days, otherwise staying fairly dry. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back.
I check one, two, mic check.